بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسپائرنٹس سی ایس ایس ٹوئنٹی نائنٹین کرنٹ افیئرز کوئیسچن ایٹ ہاو کین دا گورننگ سٹرکچر ہیو دا کپیسٹی ٹو نیوٹرلائز تھریٹس ٹو انٹرنل سیکیورٹی آف پاکستان ہم دیکھیں گے کہ کیسے گورننگ سٹرکچر کے اندر صلاحیت پیدا کی جا سکتی ہے جس سے پاکستان کے اندرونی جو خطرات ہیں ان کو کم کیا جائیں گے خطرات کو نیوٹرلائز کیا جائے تو پہلے انٹرو ہے بریف سا دا گورنمنٹ اسٹرکچر آف پاکستان کین ہیو دا کپیسٹی ٹو نیوٹرلائز تھریٹس ٹو انٹرنل سیکیورٹی تھرو دا فالوئنگ میئرس بائی اڈاپٹنگ دیز بلو مینشن میئرس فسٹ ون از اسٹرینتھننگ لا انفورسمنٹ ایجنسیز سو گورنمنٹ شوڈ انویسٹ ان اسٹرینتھننگ لا انفورسمنٹ ایجنسیز سچ ایز دا پولیس اینڈ دا پیرامٹری فورسز ٹو امپروو دیئر کیپیبلٹیز اینڈ کپیسٹی ٹو ریسپونڈ سیکیورٹی تھریٹ This this could include providing them with better training equipment and resources. Second one is the effective intelligence gathering and analysis. The government should establish the main and an effective intelligence gathering and analysis system to identify potential security threats and take proactive measures to neutralize them. Third one is collaboration. Collaboration with local communities. The government should engage Uh, should engage with the local communities to build trust and improve cooperation in addressing security threats. This can involve working with community leaders, youth groups and other stakeholders to gather information and involve them in efforts to maintain security. <coughs> Fourth one is address root causes of insecurity. The government should address the root causes of insecurity such as poverty, inequality and political instability. in order to reduce the likelihood of security threats. Fifth one is strong legal framework. The government should ensure that the legal framework is strong enough to effectively address security threats and provide for the prosecution of those who engage in criminal activities that pose a threat to internal security. Sixth one is integration of security and development. The government should integrate security and development efforts in order to address both the immediate and long-term needs of community and reduce the likelihood of security threats. Seventh one is the internal international cooperation. The government should strengthen international cooperation in addressing security threats such as terrorism and transnational organized crime by working with regional and global partners. So these were the measures to neutralize the internal security threats to Pakistan. Now we will discuss the conclusion. In conclusion, we can say neutralizing threats to the, international, uh, to the internal security of Pakistan requires a comprehensive and integrated approach that involves strengthening law enforcement agencies, effective intelligence gathering and analysis, collaboration with, collaboration with local communities, addressing root causes of insecurity, a strong legal framework, integration of security and development and international cooperation thank you for watching milte hain next topic mein allah hafiz